bonjour, what is up, welcome back to another video. So this is the first in a very short series, and I keep doing, I keep starting series and then not really finishing them. So just assume they're always ongoing, okay? So this is, but this is quite a short series, um, and the pros and cons of social media. Now, I'm sure this has been done before, I am not under the impression this is a new, like, mind-blowing idea, but I just thought I would give it to you guys, because you know I love reviewing things, so why not review the things I use, like, the most in my life? So, first of all, I'm going to review my favourite app, Instagram! Who doesn't love good Instagram? So let's get right on into it. I'm going to be starting with the pros, and the first pro is easy photo editing. I have never known a photo editor to be so easy. I have a couple of photo editing tools on my phone. They're okay, they're free, so they're a bit naff. But this Instagram is free, by the way. That's one major pro. I think all of these social media things are free. Um, so yeah, easy photo edit. So you upload your photo, and as soon as you get on there, you can put a filter on straight away. That's it. That's the first thing you do is put a filter on. I, I do use quite, I do use a filter on all my photos. Busted. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, very easy. And if you don't, if you want to go a bit more extreme, then you can press the edit button in the um, right-hand corner, and then you can do you can make your own filter basically. So brightness, contrast, saturation, all of that jazz. Privacy settings. One of the things I do love on my social media is the privacy settings. Don't you just love those privacy notifications you keep getting from every single website you ever visit about their cookies and their privacy statements and you have to press OK because then otherwise you can't visit their website and it's very freaking annoying? Me too! So, basically, privacy settings. You can put your entire account to private so you get to decide who sees, so whoever, you get to decide who follows you and thus who sees your photos. And even if you put a hashtag, I do believe it tells them that it's a private account. I'm not quite sure how the hashtags work in the privacy respect, but you choose who sees your photos and you can also obviously block people and whether you're a private account or not. So that is a major thing, very much like that. Or you can have your, th or you can make your account public. I think, yeah, my account is public, but my personal account is now privatized. So, I do, I do very much like their private settings, and it's so easy to do, you literally go, account, settings, private. Or oh, account, privacy settings, private, but you get my gist. Hashtags, oh the hashtags, I love a good hashtag. If you guys have seen my post, I do the funny caption, or the caption, um, and then down below, so where nobody can really see, because it's a bit of an eyesore, you get, uh, I get all the hashtags, and literally I put all the hashtags, I'm one of those people. But seriously, hashtags are so good, especially if you're a business. So. For example, let's say you um, do a fashion outfit flat lay, and it's a Disney. It's a Disney World outfit. You you can hashtag Disney World, Disney World outfit, outfit, theme park outfit, um, Disney outfit, Disney outfit, fashion, fashion blog. It's endless and it's great and I love it. And it also lets you connect with people who because uh, you can follow hashtags as well. So it lets you connect with people who like the same sort of stuff as you. The stories feature. I am a fan of the stories feature. I use Instagram stories more than I use Snapchat, although it's exactly the same and they're only up for 24 hours and you, you just post it to your story. I use it more for the, for the stuff that's not really post worthy, but I want people to know about it anyway. So yeah. So like, if I'm having McDonald's, I'm one of those people like, huh, <laughs> McDonald's, woohoo. It's easy to edit the writing on old posts. You can't edit the filter and the actual picture itself, but you can edit the writing. So let's say you catch a spelling mistake after you've posted it, you, you're not gonna be going, oh no, 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 no. So you can just press edit, and there you go. You, you've changed the spelling mistake, it's all good. I think you can edit comments as well, which I really quite like, because if you spell a mistake on there, you're like, oh, my favorite celebrity's gonna think I'm an absolute moron. They don't have to. There is an easy promotion scheme as well for businesses. This can only happen if you have a business Instagram, which is free to create and everything. It just has different things. It gives you the promotion option. I do think you have to pay to promote your feed and your photo. You can promote each photo. Cause let's say you just want the first photo you ever did to be promoted. You can promote that on there, but I do think you have to pay. I've not tried it. But yeah, so very easy because it literally just says promote in the bottom. Um, in the bottom of the photo, so obviously only you can see that, they can't see that. So it's not going to be like this ugly eyesore of this promote in the bottom. Community interaction is easy, comments, comments, likes, you know, you can repost as well, but it's a bit more difficult to repost. So um, all the comments, I love reading comments on my Instagrams, um, I love commenting on people's Instagrams. I very much like the comments. 
And then you've got a live video option. I've never used this, so I can't really review the whole um, sequence of it. But you do have a live video option which goes in your in your little story bit. You get a red ring around your name, around your photo, um, to let people know that you're live. And people who follow you get a notification that you are live. It's uh, it's really good. And I do I like watching some live videos and you get to comment on the live video. It's like Facebook Live. It's like any live video you've ever watched and it's like that. On to the cons. You can only post photos and short videos, so it's not a wide range social media, but Instagram is literally for photos, so that is why it was built for photos and, and short videos, and then you've got your stories, which you do the same on there. So there's no like, you can't post links and stuff like that. I mean, you can do it in your little edit profile bit, but it's just for photos and there's no text posts and stuff like that. Um, you do have Instagram IGTV, which I can't stand personally, um, for longer videos, but that's what YouTube's for in my opinion. Mobile only, it is not web optimised, you can use it, well you can go onto Instagram on your laptop, but you can't post, you can't post photos, you can't post photos on there, and uh, yeah, so it's definitely, definitely mobile optimised. That even though it's easy to edit, there are limited editing features. So basically all you've got are filters and create your own filter. I'm not quite sure what, like, you can't face tune yourself and you can't Photoshop your butt to be bigger or whatever, which I think is a good thing, personally. Um, I don't over-edit my photos, so I'm all good with that. But it is very simplistic, easy editing photo editing tools. Image theft. Major thing on Instagram, especially when you are huge. Me? I ain't gonna get image theft anytime soon. Knock on wood. I can't reach the wood, but we're knocking on the wood. Um, it's for the influencers and the major... A lot of beauty gurus and fashion icons get their photos stolen just because they can, because it's on Instagram. And I personally, obviously if they steal my photo, I'm gonna be miffed. But as long as they give credit, I'm like, hmm. No, I'm not too bothered with that. It is very irritating. It's like someone stealing your writing or your work. I mean, so if someone steals my photo, I'm going to be fuming. But it is a major thing, especially by these companies. And I put that around the companies because, well, there are a lot of spam accounts, which is leads me on to my next con, which is false advertising. Uh, because the, mm, false advertising in the fact that I have had quite a few fake clothing or like dodgy clothing companies comment on my Instagrams and try and get me to like sign up or like buy some products so they can feature me on their page but yeah so that is there's a lot of image theft a lot of people stealing people's photos for advertisement and there's a lot of fake accounts out there so that is, the, that is my only major issue with Instagram is all these fake accounts and these um, dodgy clothing websites because I remember the first one I got I didn't know about these uh, the first um, invitation I got was for this jewellery company and I was like oh that's really really cool I've got my first like paid ad deal and stuff like that and no it was I was my friend was smart enough to suggest I google them I did google them they were full of shit excuse my French so yeah it it was a uh, it was rough not rough but it was like it opened my eyes so I'm now very very aware of them and I still get comments today about people going oh we'd love to work with you dm us and i'm like not on your life that is for me i hope you've enjoyed this video if you have don't forget to hit the thumbs up down below it'd be greatly appreciated hit the big red subscribe button if you're not subscribed to my wonderful magical internet family already greatly appreciate all of my social media will be linked down below make sure you follow me on there including my instagram my instagram is down there i do enjoy my instagram i love instagram so much as you can tell but i'm always on all my social media i'm talking really quickly so i'm gonna say goodbye now hope you enjoyed this video Bye bye